As you can see, this is my Radio Shack alarm clock and radio. And stupid me, I should have bought the extended warranty and have kept the receipt. I have no way to prove that this thing is already broken. And before you diss Radio Shack, which a lot of people do, I have never had problems with Radio Shack products. This was the first time, and the problem is, and it's not evident here, is the projector fails at times. Right now, it's working perfectly fine. And the, let me point, the leftmost digit there, segment on the 8, would make that look like 448 or 449, as well as maybe 445 and 446 would look the same, for example. And this has happened more than once. However, I'm not going to completely get rid of this because otherwise it does work. But since I need something that is reliable in that department, I've gotten this. I bought it at Best Buy. It is a Sony, and because it's a Sony, I did buy the protection plan. It is a Dream Machine Auto Time Set AM FM alarm clock with projection time. I kind of played with it in the store. It looks like it's not anywhere near as flexible as the Radio Shack. So, I'm going to do a live unboxing on camera, and I'm hoping that it's in frame because my bloggy does not have hardware to go on a tripod, so it's kind of propped up, and the picture's going to move around a little bit. Let's see what we have. Right away, an AM antenna loop. Instructions for said clock radio. Really hard to see here, but here's the power cord and we the adapter that is, which is attached to the new taped up hard to get off and there it is attached to the very bottom of this alarm clock radio and we'll just give you a quick look at the controls there here are the uh, nature sounds, waves, birds, rain. It's probably wind, fish, or white noise, should I say. That's probably white noise. Alarms, time set for each, snooze and brightness. And there's the projector. I only see the option to rotate it vertically as such then your uh, your function buttons like uh, radio tuning this is where your AM antenna goes in display date and time zone audio input and Oh, projection rotate is a button right there. So, thing is, I don't see where the audio input jack goes in. I know there is a spot. Well, there is a pull open tab here. Well, apparently it's screwed in, so I gotta read the manual, but 
All in all, this was just an unboxing video, and there will be a review later on. This is George 551 saying, hope you enjoy.